is there any benefit to feeding horses flax seeds or chia seeds in their grain? If so, how much should you feed? And I know this is one of your favorite topics. So. I'm surprised it's taken this long I to know. sort of you know get to the flow to the top. So, so the short answer is yes. Uh, <laughs> ne next question. Um, so benefits to feeding horses flax seeds or chia seeds? Yes, and the benefits could be just. Maybe you want to provide more omega-3s, period, because they're not on grass um, or they're on a high grain diet and mm -hmm. you're trying to rebalance, like they're getting too many omega-6s and you want to bring that balance, shift it back to a higher 3 and 6. So just to kind of, for some people at home who are super familiar, omega-3s, omega-6s, mm -hmm. what's the difference between the two of them? Without getting into regulatory jail? Yes. Um, <laughs> so I like to put you on the spot like that, sorry. <laughs> you need both. You need both. Okay. Okay. But the, we, and we don't know for horses what the exact correct ratio is. We think it's about three parts omega-3 to one part omega-6 because that's what grass is. Okay. Being the natural food, we're like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, the problem is in today's modern system of horse keeping, when we feed high grain diets that are more skewed six to three, or they don't get fresh grass, their, their ratio is off, and because six tends to form the precursors of inflammatory pathways, we think horses might be in a chronic state of inflammation because their, their three to six balance is, is shifted. Got it, so this could help balance it out if yep. they aren't on pasture. Yep. And, and, and take them back out of that chronic state of inflammation. And it's a game back, perfect. Yep, so um, <clears throat> other reasons you might, you might add it is, um, you might wanna add calories mm -hmm. to the horse because it's fat. Flax is about 40% fat. Uh, chia, not much, not as much, maybe 30% fat, but still significant, yep. right? Um, they're also, uh, they have significant levels of protein. They have some um, minerals and, and vitamins. Um, they're both, they both provide uh, mucilage. So if you, if you, we'll get into it in a minute, if you soak or cook flax, have you ever done mm -hmm. that? It turns into a gooey, sticky mess in your container and your spoon will never be the same again. And you'll be like, why did I do that? So, but that's the mucilage in it. Um, and then some people just want to support um, cellular health mm. and, and provide omega-3 fatty acids so that the cells, it's, it's a wellness idea. So, um, all right, so uh, flax seeds, the, the biggest question I get asked is how to feed them. I don't think she asked that. She, she said know. how much. We'll get to that in a minute. but. It's how, so you can feed them just whole. Mm -hmm. You can feed them ground. You can feed them um, like fresh ground, like it's feeding time, grind them and feed them. Um, you can buy pre-ground and then stabilize so they don't go rancid. Yes. Okay. Um, and then you can, you, can, you can soak them, say overnight, or you can even cook, boil them. Wow, this is quite the prep work. I know. I'm well, you mentioned earlier about a, a cookbook. You're doing a cooking <laughs> show for sure. Next episode. So um, the reason we tend not to feed them whole is because flax seeds have a very hard outer shell or coating mm -hmm. and that um, it's difficult for the horses. If they don't chew them and break it, then their, their enzymes in their digestive tract can't really open it up either and then it just passes out completely unused and they didn't have access to the nutrients mm. in there so they didn't get the omega-3s so that's why we grind them and we like what well, in my barn we have a coffee grinder oh that's a smart idea and so we have a container of flax and then at every feed meal time we just get out everyone's serving grind it pour it in a thing feed it that's what happens right then so the the omega-3s don't have a chance to interact with the air and sunlight and I love that. That's a great idea. Yeah. And then when, they, when they're out in pasture and they hear the coffee grinder, they all, <laughs> they all come running. So if you want our, any of our horses, you just, you just put some flax in the coffee grinder and <laughs> press it and then they come running. Whatever works. <laughs> yeah. So, but if you don't want to do that, then you can buy some pre-ground stabilized. That's easy. You don't really need to, um, you can soak to soften it, but that's a little bit of a, of a pain. And you don't, you don't need to cook or boil them. Um, I, I like that. I like the grinding. I think that releases the yeah. nutrients and um, it penetrates that hard shell. So, and then she wanted to know how much. So it does depend on why you're feeding them mm -hmm. and what else your horse is getting, and and conditions your horse might have. Like there was a a study in the 90s, I think, about horses with sweet itch, and that they fed them um, a pound of flaxseed to see if it changed. A pound a day. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and notice again, we're not talking about um, volume, like a, a half a cup or a cup or mm -hmm. a quart or a scoop or whatever y unit you want to use. We're talking about weight. So um, the, the weight that you'll see is um, you can feed two ounces, four ounces, eight ounces, so it'll be just half a pound, wow. 16 ounces a pound, but it all depends on why you're feeding it. And again, I would say, if you're just starting to feed um, flaxseed or chia seed, which by the way, you don't have to grind or soak or boil or- Chia, you don't? No, because it's very small and there's no hard shell, it just, they get all the nutrients. But um, if you're adding I either of these to your horse's diet, you wanna do it gradually. Okay. So don't start with eight ounces or 16 ounces, start with one to two for a week and then gradually increase it until you get to the amount that you want. Everything very slowly with yeah. horses. Yeah, they're just not, they don't like to be surprised, trust me. <laughs> I love that. So I know there's also, we do also sell other flax products. That, um, we have our Smart and Simple Flax, which comes yep. like in a powder, which makes it super easy the to feed as well. The pre-ground stabilized, so yep. Take a little bit of the work out of it for you as yep. well. So there's lots of options on the market as well. I think we might actually, that one you mean? That was the one, yes. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Convenient that that was there. <laughs>